Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and in this video, we are going to have a look at Valley X, which is an open source implementation of Microsoft's very popular model Valley X, zero shot TTS or text to speech model. We are going to install it locally and then we will use it for different use cases, including voice synthesis and voice cloning. Before we do that, let's have a quick look as what exactly this model offers. It's a multilingual TTS which means that it can speak in multiple languages including English, Chinese and Japanese with natural and expressive speech synthesis. It also enables you to have zero shot voice cloning. What it means is that you can enroll a short 3 to 10 seconds recording of an unseen speaker which is not part of its training data set and then this model can create personalized high quality speech that sounds just like that person. We are also going to try that out. There are a lot of examples which they have shared on their GitHub repo with some of the architectural detail and I will drop the link to it in a video's description. So let's try to get it installed and before I go there, let me introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are AgentQL. AgentQL is a query language that turns any web page into a data source. With its Python SDK and live debugging tool, you can scrape and interact with web content. AgentQL works on any page, it is resilient, it is reusable, and it structures the output according to the shape of your query. And I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Let me take you to my local system. Let's first create a virtual environment so that we keep everything nice and separate and clean. And that is done. Next up, we need to install this, these libraries, which include Libport Audio, Pi Audio, and FFmpeg. These are the libraries which are mainly used for handling video, audio, and image processing, encoding, decoding, and streaming. And they provide a comprehensive framework for multimedia manipulation. And that is why we are installing it as I'm using Conda. So some of them I am installing with the Conda channels. And if you don't know what Conda is, Please search my channel, I already have covered it in great detail. Also, as far as the resources are concerned, you can use it easily on your CPU. You don't really need a GPU for this, but if you don't want to offload some of the stuff to CPU and you really don't want to get any latency, then you would need around, I would say, 8 to 12 GB of VRAM in order to make it performant, which is not huge. And if you're looking to rent a GPU on very good and affordable prices, I will drop the link to Mast Compute, who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. I will also give you a coupon code of 50% discount on range of GPUs. You can get it from video's description, so please do check it out. Okay, so let's go back and then check it out. Let me press Y here. It is going to take a couple of minutes to get it installed. These prerequisites are done. Let's git clone the repo of ValleyX. And that is also done. Let me install all the requirements from the root of the repo. Again, this is going to take a minute or two. All the prerequisites are done. Let's now launch the graphical user interface demo of this. All you need to do is to run this command from the root of the repo. And first time when you run it, it downloads all the models. And you can see it seems that it is using my CPU, not the GPU. So let's wait. And it is going to download all of these models on the local system. And as the model download is finished, it will automatically open this window on your local host. As you can see that it describes what exactly this model can do. You can do inference from audio, you can make the prompt, you can infer from the prompt, and you can do the inference from the long text. And you can see that once, uh, so it also has given this bit of a detail or intro about what exactly each option is doing in every tab. And if you scroll down, you will see that not only you can upload your own audio file, like here, and you can also record from the microphone, and then you can select any example from here by just clicking on it. As soon as you click it, your example is selected. So this is the audio prompt. 
And if I go above, this is the transcript. And then all you need to do is to just click on generate here. And there you go. So it has generated the synthesized video or uh, audio, sorry, and cloned the text. So let me first play the original one. Well, look at that. That's no ordinary teddy bear. Okay, so that is a transcript. It has also uh, put it in here. And then now let's check out the output one. This is how this machine has taken my voice. You see, so it's the same tone, it's the same uh, voice which was in the original audio. Okay, in the next example, I have uploaded a small audio file in my own voice. And then I'm just asking it the same um, to just say this in my voice. So let me play the original audio first. How many letter R are there in the word strawberry? Okay, so that is done. Let me, I already have generated it, but let me generate it again. And I will also show you the GPU VRAM consumption. So you see it is just consuming just over three gig of VRAM. Okay, so that is done. Let me play this output audio. This is how this machine has taken my voice. Okay, I would say that not exactly my voice, but there is a very strong hint of my voice. Maybe we just need to, uh, maybe my input audio is not that good enough. I will try one more and it can auto detect the languages or you could specify the language here. Maybe I'll just say English and then say, maybe I'll, it might improve that. So let's, I'm just generating it again and you can check out the speed, how quick that is. Let's play this. This is a mistake in my voice. Yeah, much better. It's much better. Good stuff. And not only that, but you can also generate an encoded prompt in NPZ format. So for example, you just want to create a prompt out of this. You just click on make prompt. And then once you click on make prompt, there is a NPZ file. All you need to do is to go to infer from prompt and then come here let's cancel it and then you can upload that prompt file here which will contain all the encode, uh, encoded values and then um, you can just change this so th this voice is going to this prompt is going to speak this in that voice which we have just selected in the prompt let's click on generate and it is going to generate the voice for you and you can of course change it whatever you like so let me play it welcome back master what can i do for you today you see and similarly in for long text is you can give more long text and it is going to produce that you can also select the for example the accent here if you like whatever accent is there and then there are a few voice presets you can go like sleepiness and then a lot of other are there which you can check out. There's a discuss to emu amused and all that stuff. And then you can upload your file here and then click on generate. So it's a pretty uh, nifty tool, I think, very easy to install and easy to use. I will drop the link to it in video's description. Play around with it. Let me know what do you think about it. Also. Um, if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're already subscribed, please do me a favor and share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.